actually listen to that. I'll go for a long time by myself, but I wanted to present something to you that has been on my mind for a very long time. You know, letting the hair down, letting things go is really been my path all along. But I'll tell you, there is a magician working here that is taken charge of this illusion of life and has hijacked it, has hijacked me, I speak for myself, but I observe others. And I see that the flesh can be like a prison suit and that we have wardens governing the prison everywhere. For example, as soon as you are naked, everyone has a dialect where you become an outcast and are thrown away in some crazy bin or some place where they don't want to see you. Well, this whole life is about hiding the truth. The hiding the truth from us everywhere. And I realize that the truth is well, I'll come from the standpoint of reflection of the use of the most amazing substance we have, which is lysergic acid. This helps to open up the tissues and see the broadness of our being. You know, they, they say you see trails. Well, you carve trails with your fingers and your mind and intention. So everywhere we're going, we're actually polluting the atmosphere because we're inconsistent with the truth. We're not paying deep attention and deep reverence. And I feel when I'm on the deepest part of my journeys inside my body and mind, that all I want to do is this and chant the holy name. I don't want to bear you with the intensity of a chant, but this is what happens. The whole body becomes a resonating chamber of truth, and all thoughts are gone. You see... This magician has deluded us and caused us to become busy. Busy in life, busy doing things, busy being pushed from our past. You know, I got clear that I have to give up everything if I want something else. If I want the truth, I have to give up the lie. The lie of, well, let's call it the mundane, the money system. The things that keep us bound Oh, I need to pay my rent, otherwise I get thrown out of this house. So we get caught in this wheel. How important is this wheel? Well, some of us find that the mundane becomes a ritual, and because everyone else is doing it, and our parents did it, we're lost amongst the degrading of this planet. We're actually destroying it, whistling why we work. Aren't you tired of this? I'm so sick of it. If this was the last day on Earth, and I've been saying this for years in my videos. What would you be doing? These are the last moments on earth. I guarantee it. This is the last moments on earth. Half of you will be dead within a year. You don't realize how fast plague can come and spread. And people can get sick. Or power plants can end up not working. And no air conditioning. And people are dying in mass. It's coming. You know, also it's coming is the aliens. The aliens are coming here to show us our shit. And they want to know, they want to have, how are you listening? You see, they may come and accept you or destroy you. But how have you been living, you McDonald's fanatics? Because when you're eating trash, you're compared by trash, you're watching the porn, you're watching all these things that are distractions, when in fact... The magician has got you. 
and that's how they want it. It is so sad that it has actually become a ritual. Like our temples or Costco and large buildings. These are, again, you got to stop and get off the wheel. The point of all this is to stop and get out of serving Satan. Your tongue is Satan. Jesus. Is the only way. And we live by the truth of what comes across this threshold of our temple. Whether you get it right now or you get it right later, you're dying for the truth. All of us. Jesus is the only way. Until you can articulate the breath and bring it in. That's the exhale, and the inhale needs to be as deep as potently as possible. Otherwise, you're you're like guppies drinking little sips. <laughs> so, what's the purpose of me in your life? Besides a friend, Guru comes to me because it's G U R U. I put myself into intense situations and positions to absolve myself of my karma and my eating facility to, to starve myself and know the truth. And these are the people that you come and knock on their door or you climb the mountain to find to say, Hey, if you know the truth, how, how, how? And you knock and ask. So I'm doing the work that you're not doing and I bring back the truth from the mountain, and it's like a sage. We burn sage, we also have a sage in me. I'm the burning the truth through my <sighs> intensive yoga practices, which actually, I discovered, are all bullshit. Because when you read right down to it, every technique, every idea, is a way of absolving ourselves and running from the truth, which is to die. Which is to sink so deep that we just are over it. We're dead. We're done, yet we're living in the flesh of truth, which is the body. Jesus. You know, I see how people abuse themselves or want to enjoy life or, hey, I'm going to have a beer or I'm going to do this. All these tendencies are because we don't know what true pleasure is. We don't, we don't know what true pleasure is. We don't, if you really want to know what bliss was and happiness without the ecstasy and the other articulates, even caffeine, to make you feel better in life, it's to be free and naked in front of the Lord and say, take me away. Jesus is the only way. And when we find the real truth that Jesus is our very breath, then our testament becomes, we become a living example of what God wanted. I forget the name God, because this is another Gad. Gad means God. It was changed. It was Gad meant the Satan. So we're actually, when we say God, we're actually talking about Satan. We serve Satan. The flesh, as long as it's red, is Satan. Because it was called inflammation. We want to be as cool as a cucumber. That's right. In the Puranas, it's even said somewhere, da, 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 cool as a cucumber. Well, the very word nirvana means coolness. It means coolness. It means absolving yourself from heat. What is heat? You look at all the foods, from meat to alcohol to caffeine to sugar, all the things that we love kills us. So what are you doing every day? You're killing, you're worshiping the devil. You're worshiping Satan every moment that you eat and you eat and you die. Do you want to keep dying? Is there somebody telling you about death and life? I'm telling you, the only life you can live is by getting out of your own way, no longer serving your tongue in Satan, and just saying, I'm going to... And that's why the, what I was shown by my ancestors and teachers on the heavy dose of psychedelics, that's right, because sometimes you have to do something to get out of your own way, and it plunges you deep into, okay, I'm listening. They said, the hunger, the thirst, to no longer feed the Satan, the beast, and to clean. They, the Lord wants his pure devotees back. <sighs> 
the pure devotee's back. I was even told to shave this off, shave my head, because I'm a pure devotee that has fallen into the world and become a faker, become a fake. You think you do yoga? Yoga, the only, the only yoga there is, is enchanting the Lord's name. <sighs> in a perfect state of mind, in a perfect equipose, in perfect peace, that with every breath, there's an articulation of the weather vane in our own throat, like the weather vane. This is the center, like our brain does one thing. This needs to become like full of prana, full of chakras and energy. You won't understand this until you give up eating, until you stop the whole process of chewing, digesting, filling your belly, because you're all just a bunch of compost chambers. You're foolish. You're all foolish, and you're in your mind, and you're bound by this cord. You're bound by this cord, this link. It's as if, if you stop doing something, you're going to die. It's the same thing the smoker experiences, that no longer will they be rolling the cigarette, buying the cigarette, smoking it. Part of the whole thing is it's a ritual doing something because they can't sit still and just be. And I want to tell you that you never, you ever, you have, you have to become brilliant. You ha you have to master the mind, and that's through peace and quiet. You know, because I am a G U R U. I tell my students that are on the path to step higher and higher that they need to go lower, lower, and lower, so deep in their sleep. So I prescribe resting for days, sleeping, resting, doing nothing, drinking maybe a little water, doing your detox teas, and going back to bed. You won't get off this wheel until the bones can heal, the stress can heal, the eyes and mind can heal. Close your eyes and let everything heal. This is my work. You see, other people might have their own plumbing work to, to plumb the house. I'm the internal plumber to get you to... Breathe properly, deeply, which can only be done when you're not digesting. Resting deeply so that the, the body becomes to its own balance. And that the 